Are the Razorbacks a 10-win football team? Let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Mason, and if you couldn't tell, I'm a Razorback fan, and I believe the Razorbacks can get 10 games this season. Now, you know, before the little Jimmies, you know, start typing away and saying, you're crazy, you're insane. Um, let me state my reasons real quick, okay? Get the returning starters on offense. You obviously have KJ Jefferson, Bucket Sanders, Dominic Johnson, and AJ Green. Now you have a couple of transfers out of the wide receiver position. We lost we lost a lot in the wide receiver position from last year. You know, Hazelwood gone to the NFL. So there's a lot of unproven talent there. Uh, but you have guys like Tyron Broden from Bowling Green. He's six foot seven. He's tall. I believe Sam Pittman said he was a top five speed on the team. He, he was top five. He ran 22 miles per hour, I think it was. Isaac Tesla came from a D2 school. He's six four. He's big, he's fast. Andrew Armstrong, he's from Texas A&M Commerce. You know, as you can see, all these transfers are from schools you, you know, never heard of or, you know, small schools, but um, they're big, they're fast, and uh, there's a reason why they're in the SEC now. You got to start somewhere. Everyone does. Now you look, look at the defense. There's a lot of concern about the defense. We get it. We get it. A lot of concern, you know. Uh, last year, they were last in the SEC in passing, passing defense. New, new defensive coordinator, new offensive corner. We already know the offense is going to be explosive. We already know that. Uh, it's easy. Um, the defense is the biggest question, I believe, this year. Um, it can't get much worse. It can't get much worse than last year. Uh, the D-line, it, it, it's stacked. Uh, Linebackers stacked. We got Poo Paul, as they like to call him. McLaughlin back. Transferred from LSU two years ago. Very, very good. So defense has a lot of questions, a lot of unproven talent on the offense, but they will be good, especially when you have a, a Rocket Sanders, KJ Jefferson duo like that. Best in the country, by the way. There's no stopping it. Got to feel sorry for the defense. Three and five conference record. Three and five conference record. Um, didn't do too well last year. Went seven and six, six and six in the regular season, obviously. Um, didn't do too well, but we lost, I believe it was four games in the combined points of nine points, I believe it was. You know, we lost to top 10 team, LSU, by, I believe it was, it was 13 to 10, lost them by three, uh, lost to Liberty, lost to Missouri by two. I went to that game, it, it was crazy. A lot of Missouri fans were just, you know, hating. Like Missouri fans do, uh, you gotta love what Dan Enos is doing. Uh, he was the offensive coordinator for the Hogs in uh, 2015, 16, and 17. So, you gotta love it. Uh, during those years, he coached Brandon Allen, Austin Allen. They did phenomenal. Now, let, let's look at the schedule. First three games here: Western Carolina, Kent State, BYU. All at home. That BYU game is at night. No chance for BYU. Smacked them on the road last year. Uh, just can't see BYU doing anything, uh, especially if it's a night game in Fayetteville. Yeah, that first game's in Little Rock. I love Little Rock. A lot of a lot of Hog fans hate Little Rock. Uh, you know, because of recruiting. You know, you want the kids to see Fayetteville. You want them to see the stadium. You know, see the fans, see the campus. Um, but after those three games, you get at LSU. Now, this game is not talked about enough in the media. Uh, it's not talked about enough at all by fans or anybody. Um, battle for the Golden Boot. I know, I know LSU fans, you're not, you don't see us as a main rivalry. You, you know, you see Alabama more. Um, but Arkansas fans, we, we take this seriously. Arkansas players do too. It's going to be a tough game. I'll say that. Uh, I don't think we'll pull away with the victory there so you go three and one right there Texas A&M 
this is another thing. You win 10 games if the ball bounces your way and on, on not on top of the field goal post. If we weren't playing in Dallas, in Arlington, you, uh, Arkansas would have took the lead in the fourth quarter, probably would have won that game. Um, I have Arkansas beating Texas A&M there. It's always a funky game with Texas A&M. Uh, I know Bobby Petrino, you know, he's, he's the offensive corner. He's very tricky, very tricky. Uh, he almost beat us last year with Missouri State. Uh, yeah, that, that game was, was terrifying at Ole Miss. Now, Ole Miss is tricky. A lot of transfers. People call Layton Kiffin the transfer king. People argue that uh, Judkins, he, he's the best running back in the country. I, I like to disagree with that. Um, you have nine offensive returning starters for Ole Miss. It's pretty good. But um, I, I just don't see I just don't see Judkins being better than Rocket Sanders there. Um, I believe Arkansas beats him on the running game easily. Uh, I, I say we got to win there. Many people predicting Ole Miss to have a phenomenal season. I don't think so. Uh, at Alabama, not much to say about that. Uh, we haven't beat them since 06. Students who are starting to enroll into the University of Arkansas have never seen Arkansas beat Alabama before. So that's getting very concerning. You know, obviously Nick Saban's been dominating, so not much you can do. One year, but not this year. Um, you have Mississippi State. Uh, RIP Coach Leach. Uh, we missed the Pirate. He, uh, he impacted college football in many ways. He's a great coach, great personality. So rest in peace, we miss you. I, I'm gonna say we take that one, you know, new head coach. I know he was the defensive coordinator before, but I just don't think you get it done here. So Arkansas takes the W. Uh, five and two, five and two. Hit the bye week. Now during the bye week, you're preparing for Florida while Florida is playing Georgia. Rivalry game, you know, ain't gonna go well for Florida. We all know Florida's gonna lose, but they're gonna have a hangover from that big game. We're not gonna be as prepared as Arkansas will be. Uh, Arkansas has never beaten Florida in the swamp, I believe. And, uh, you know, I think this, there's a first time for everything. Um, Arkansas gets the win there, six and two, Auburn. New head coach, Hugh Freeze, beat Arkansas in Fayetteville with Liberty. That was insane. Um, KJ was banged up. The whole team was banged up. Defense sucked. This is a whole new Arkansas team. Uh, Hugh Freeze, he's going to get it going at Auburn. Trust me, Auburn is uh, they're a scary team. They will be a scary team. This year, though, they do not get it done. Florida International, don't have to say much. Just don't choke. Don't let it be another Liberty game. We got that. Missouri at this point at this point you are nine and two you are having bad bad games against Missouri horrible games horrible luck it's in Fayetteville uh, three o'clock start time here I'm possibly going to that game so you better win it's ten wins on the season Missouri uh, the battle line rivalry, and Arkansas fans don't like to say, you know, Missouri's a rivalry, but we can't beat them. And uh, both fan bases hate, are starting to hate each other so bad right now. So the rivalry, it's, it's heating up whether you like it or not. Uh, we got to get that. And, um, you know, whoever the bowl game is, you know, hopefully we get even 11 wins. You know, definitely getting a New York Six Bowl with 10 wins, especially when you're in the S SEC. I, I believe that's how the schedule is going to play out if you get 10 wins. My prediction, nine and three losses to LSU, Bama. Yeah, I would have to say Auburn. A lot of people will disagree with me here. Uh, no way Arkansas gets 10 wins. Uh, it's been a while since Arkansas got 10 wins. Um, since Bobby Petrino, we all know what happened there with the accident. Uh, horrible stuff for the program. Set us back at least 10 years. Uh, New Year's Six Bowl, beautiful. Bring in some big talent. We're back, on the, back at top. Competing for a SEC championship next year. Don't even get to play Bama next year. So, you know, that's one less loss on the season next year. So, yeah, that's how I see it playing out uh, if you could get to 10 wins. I believe nine wins, maybe 10 wins as a bowl game. You, you, you know, we'll see. Be sure to like, subscribe, 
keep noties on. I'm going to start doing more videos like this face-to-face uh, -face with you. Uh, SEC fans, football fans, Arkansas fans. So you're excited for the football season? I'm excited for the football season. We'll pick.